Okay, season two. Here we go. James is now a daddy. But he's battling some fears that not everything is okay with Sarah. Meanwhile, the Risen have all discovered that the barrier is shrinking. We never got sick here before. Everyone's freaking out because if it keeps shrinking, then everyone's just going to disintegrate. Pretty hairy situation. James makes the decision to take all the Risen to this old lake house, and that is where Kate meets the very mysterious and very attractive Owen. Next, we have Alicia. Four years earlier, we see Alicia McKellar come out of the morgue. She used to be dead. Faux stepdad Phil is in this huge accident out at sea. He's not dead. He opens his eyes. And he seems to have this sense of purpose. Dun dun. Patty, in the meantime, is trying to make sure his rightful heirs get his fortune. OK, now let's talk about John Doe. John Doe is like running around in someone's house, stealing their fruit. And all of a sudden, Professor Heisen is there. The head of Norgard. And Nicola convinces John that she can help him understand who he is. John starts to glitch, and through the glitches, he discovers his true identity, which is William Blackburn. Amazing. So he's got a name. James and the Risen uh, confront Alicia McKellar and demand answers from her. It turns out that the reason we all came back is because of her. Kirsty basically gets to babysit a handcuffed Alicia in the lake house. Then James and Kate go to Norgard to check out her story. And then she disappears somehow. Um, so Kirsty didn't do a very good job at keeping an eye on nifty Alicia. Kirsty sets off to find who her real killer was. She remembers that it was actually Chris's brother. Pete Reynolds. Shit who got away with it with Chris's help. Double shit. What? He was a kid, he was young, he didn't know what he was doing. Big emotional moment, a great piece of television. Charlie realises that he came back from the war. He died in Urana because he was suffering from tuberculosis. And rather than go through the long painful death of tuberculosis at that time, he went out to the tree and ended his own life. William finds Alicia. He challenges her to what their history truly is. But it turns out it's a little more than chemistry. There's some kind of mystical vibes going on. Cosmic love union story, which is like epically romantic. And she explains that she is the one that brought him back. Oops, though, at the same time as bringing you back from the dead, I also brought up all these other risen. Alicia, later on, does a deal with the devil. And she agrees to share her secrets. Because that's what heisen has been after the whole time. As long as she can keep doing her experiments. She wants to fix the barrier so that they can be together. Phil and Sarah, meanwhile, both share a new purpose. To kill the Risen. But Sarah's all conflicted about Nia and James. Sarah goes off and kills Patty. While Phil murders Alicia in the most brutal way. It's horrible. Don't even watch it. I watched it again the other night and it's... William discovers Alicia's body and is devastated. Absolutely tears him apart. Then something else happens. What happens? Phil tries to kill the others. <laughs> James, thank God. Disarms him. Uh, I somehow overcome him, if you can believe that, and I lock him up. We're all going to be okay for another day. Wrong again. Sarah comes in, lets him out. In the meantime, all the Risen have gone to Norgard for protection. Who turns up but Sarah and Phil? Charlie's shot at this stage. Heisen and William are reenacting the experiment. William is pretty keen to bring Alicia back to life. We were in Norgard, we get the hell out of there. They're tailed by Sarah and Phil. We all end up back at the graveyard with experiments set up. James and Chris arrive there as well, so we're all there at night. It's pandemonium. James realises that Sarah is a threat, but... Sarah has this moment of wanting to protect James. And then Sarah, all conflicted, shoots Phil. Who shoots Sarah. And she dies. The experiment doesn't bring Alicia back to life. But the boundary is now non-existent. Phil survives and wakes up in the back of a Norgard van. Kate decides, well, the boundary's gone. I'm going to pursue a relationship with Owen. Bo's family are given a huge inheritance thanks to Patty. James, devastated, broken, leaves Urana 
uh, with his baby Nia and is going to go to uh, Tasmania to be with his folks. While William stands over Alicia's grave waiting. And that's where we end series two. That's pretty much it. I think you're ready for season three. You're up to date.